it moves a lot. Uh, or like if you've got a I'll give you an example if, if for instance behind me was a, a swaying tree uh, it would look like rubbish if I had a very if I had a higher number in the keyframes I'd need to reduce the keyframes to to five to every five frames or so uh, for it to continue to redraw it because the picture degrades constantly up until the next keyframe where it's set again so does that make any sense to you, um, uh, the, the the essence of it is that um, the lower the number is in this, the uh, the kind of higher quality each subsequent frame is. So I'm going to try 30 just to see what it's like. I don't know what it's like. It's, I want to really squeeze this bugger right down. I'm going to go for medium quality in terms of the compression. Compression is is where you um, is how uh, uh, instead of being raw. In other words, all the code, it uses what's called an algorithm to, which is kind of a mathematical formula, to um, to make the size of something smaller by using an algorithm. So it's a bit hard to explain what it's like, but um, yeah, I'm not even going to bother because I'm not very good at maths, but it's, it just take it from me, right? The um, compression rate, the more you compre compress it, the... the um, the more quality you tend to lose. The less compression gives you best, least for the for the highest compression. But it does. The the more you compress it, the the smaller the size, but the worse the quality. So these are all trade offs, right? Don't worry about the data rate for the moment, because uh, we're not too worried about that. Okay, let's go OK on that one. Uh, filter, forget about that size. Now you could in fact change that to a smaller size. You'd go 160 by, by 120. I'm going to give you an example of what that would look like because it makes it very small, right? I'm going to get it to preserve the aspect ratio because I've, it's a widescreen shot that I've got there. Uh, but I may not ha it may not matter. It'll actually letterbox it which means it'll give me a black on the top and the bottom. Forget about delacing the source. Um, and uh, then I'm going to go for sound, and this is important. Um, quite often that'll come up as, as stereo. If you're not playing music, if it's just somebody talking, then I wouldn't worry about it. I'd just leave it as it's had, leave the form, format as it is. The rate uh, in kilohertz is, um, you could reduce the rate to 16, try it out. Um, once again, the higher up the scale, the better quality of the audio. The lower down the scale, the worse the audio. I'm going to leave that because the audio was starting to degrade in the other one. Um, rendering settings, I prefer to have better. Um, uh, sample at 16. We'll, we'll try that. Let's have a listen to see what it sounds like. How are you anyway? You um, having a good time watching the tutorials? So that's not too bad, is it? Um, uh, and if you play the source, you click on that and play the source. Good. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. So they sound pretty much the same to me and should be okay. I think that's the way that works. Okay, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to zoom back. Those are the settings that I've done. So settings, size, sound settings, uh, prepare for internet streaming, um, fast start is always good. Um, that's always a good one to have because it uh, means that you're not stuck with a queue for ages and people sitting there going, queue what? what? What's this bloody queue? PC uses yes, a particular hopeless of this kind of crap. Okay, now I'm just going to uh, let that export and I'll come back. Okay, it's um, rendered now and I'll uh, show you what it looks like. This is the the good one. Okay, so I'm making this movie to see if I can... Okay, and this is the next one, the one we just did then. Okay, so I'm making this movie to see if I can... Now, you'll be seeing this fairly fuzzy anyway because I would have already rendered this down <laughs> to uh, fit on YouTube. And so it will have lost quite a bit of quality, so you have to sort of translate it to, uh, to what you do yourself. You have to try it out. But the interesting thing is... Um, so the original size, if I go to the original size on this actual size, that's the size it comes out as. And if I play make it like it that, smaller, that's actually I'm not made. bad. So I'm trying to make it as big as I can. Um, as you can see, it's not too bad then in terms of size. So that's but it's small. Idea. 
right? So what I if I hadn't changed the size, uh, it'd be interesting to see what it's like. If I drag this out though and get the size uh, a bit larger, then I get this um, fairly so fuzzy. You, 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 the, the background's not bad. What you... So um, that's not too bad really. But what's interesting is this. That's what the size is. Okay, so what we've got here now is that we've knocked it down to 11.5 meg from what was this other one, which is a test movie. Now it's 25 meg, so we've more than halved it in size. But you know, you might look at it and say, "Look, the vision's not that 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 crash hot." In which case, what we'd do is, uh, and it probably isn't. I probably wouldn't be happy with that. Um, I think probably what I'd want to do is to go back to the options again <coughs> pardon me and the settings and I would probably say let's change that to f to 20 frames for the keyframes uh, maybe the frame rate up to 24 which is standard um, 24 frames a second we could probably get away with that at 30 if we did that. We'd try 30 and maybe put this up to high and see what that looks like. In fact, we will do that. Let's just... Because the it sounded all right. The, and we might whack the size up to uh, whatever it was. I can't remember what it was. Um, 320. Let's... Uh, oh, you can find out what the size of something is. Here's a, here's a way of finding out what the size is, except that it won't let me do it, of course. Um, what would it be? Size. Oh, look. We'll just leave it small. That way we can compare it with the other one. Okay, so now we'll make this one Test Movie 5. That way we got it sequentially done. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Right, well it's rendered now. It takes a little while, unfortunately, to, to do it sometimes. So so you just have to be patient with it. And I do it when I can read the paper or do something like that, surf the net while I'm waiting for it to, to happen. It usually takes about sort of three or four minutes. Or if it's a big file, it can take a bloody long time. So it doesn't matter. Um, this one I've managed to get down to 13.9 meg, so that's still just about half the size of the other one. And I reckon it does look a bit better. Um, this is the uh, this is one before. Yeah, so this I'm is a small this one to see. Um, and the small one here, you can see the quality is not real good in terms of the. You see, my head is pretty fuzzy there. Um, on the other hand, this one it doesn't look any better, does it? When it's moving, it it so actually I'm is better. So, movie to see you if probably I can can't see can the difference between the two smaller once I've made the idea. So, I'm trying to make no, it as big as I can. In no question, that extra two meg, the one at the bottom, is actually better. So, that's it, really. I mean, there's, there's, there's a thousand and one codecs um, which I use for, uh, you know, for. for squeezing movies down and making them work and, and do the lot and, and it's a really complex thing I mean there are some people who are just experts in the area and know it inside out I am not one of those people but at least that gives you some idea about how to squeeze things down it's quite often a good oh, pardon me, quite often a good thing to squeeze something down in size um, even if you make a smaller print of it and then stretch it out that works too um, stretch it to the size that you want it uh, that seems to work quite well as well so anyway the uh, and then there's you know there's the ability to drop to um, put it into flash and do all that kind of stuff but uh, I'm not going to do that today so uh, I'll see you later because I'm falling asleep oh, I tell you oh, pardon me 4.30 in the afternoon it's bloody ridiculous isn't it how pathetic am I catch you later bye